to my channel my name is Mila and about this video we'll talk about uh, how I applied my partnership work visa onshore and what are the requirements I submitted and also we'll talk about what's the difference between uh, applying onshore and offshore partnership uh, work visa applications so uh just keep on watching guys so i'll show you a lot of uh a lot of ways how to do it properly the work visa and then disclaimer i'm not an immigration advisor and officer or lawyer so you have to check with your uh with you have to check with immigration new zealand website for more updates and for more information and also if you have the means you have to check with your immigration advisor if you have one and i will put all the uh, official links of new zealand uh, immigration website in the description box so just have a look in the description box because i'll put all the information and all the evidence that i submitted to to immigration uh, New Zealand so keep on watching guys back to the main point guys so this video will talk about the partner of New Zealand citizen and PR so the first criteria that you have to take note to apply for you to apply the partnership work visa is the living together requirements so for you to apply this partnership work visa you need to have at least two to three months of living together evidence so that's really important guys because the immigration New Zealand is very strict with that requirement and if you don't have one so you better get that evidence first before you apply it obviously so uh, so if you have that criteria then it's really it's really easy i think i'm not sure but yeah for my part we have we have lived together like around 2.5 two months and a half in dubai and then two months in new zealand before we launch our partnership work visa application onshore in i'm already in new zealand because i got my critical purpose visitor visa so then after two months and a half i applied for partnership work visa and i got it within two weeks and two days only after i launched my application so anyway so if you've been living together for like a year uh, with your partner you can apply a partnership work visa uh, either onshore or offshore so usually if you've been living for one year you, the immigration will grant you a two years partnership work visa but if you've been living with your partner less than a year the immigration New Zealand will grant you one year partnership work visa only so yeah so i got only one year partnership work visa because oh, we're living together with my partner less than a year only so yeah that's the rule of the immigration and you can check it on immigration website for more uh information and so what's the difference between uh, applying onshore and offshore so so obviously offshore so if you are applying offshore it means you are outside New Zealand so maybe you are in Dubai Europe or in Asia so and your partner is in New Zealand so you can apply online uh, the partnership work visa and <clears throat> yeah but <clears throat> the main thing offshore is the processing time takes a little bit longer to process so, so in the immigration website it says 90 percent of the application offshore takes six months to process so i'm not sure with that but i got some 
other people i know some other people who got their uh, partnership work visa offshore and they got it within three months since they lodged the application so i think it's case to case basis and if you're lucky you can get your partnership work visa within three months if you applied um, offshore so for my case i applied my partnership work visa onshore so i was already inside new zealand so the processing time for all onshore is a bit faster so for in my case i got it within two weeks and two days so so i'm so happy and so lucky and yeah so it's really a very straightforward I got no uh, inquiries or I got no questions coming from immigration. They just sent me the visa and yeah, that's all. They send it to me, to my email address and no questions asked or anything. So yeah, I'm so lucky. And uh, yeah, oh, what else? I'll tell you what are the evidences I submitted to the immigration so I have here I have the list here for applying a, a partnership work visa onshore so it's onshore or offshore the evidence you have to submit is the same but the the only downside is the processing time is different so that's it so but the evidence it's the same so the main evidence that you really have to gather as early as possible is the living together evidence so that's very important guys like for example if you have this tenancy agreement uh lease rental agreement if you've been having if you're renting an apartment and if you have your house then that's better if you have your own house together they just show that you own the house together with both of your names with your partner so if you don't have one then it may be if you're sharing with your parents apartment or house then you can get the letter from your parents saying that you've been living with your parents and your partner in the same house in the same address so that's really one thing that's very important and also uh, the second one is that's this part is for the evidence of living together so uh, the second part of the of this evidence of living together is the joint bank account or joint credit card so if you have one if you can get one much better if you don't have one it's still okay but yeah if you've been uh, uh, sending money to each other maybe you can show that uh, receipt that you're sending money transfer to your partner vice versa so yeah that's also one thing you can show to the immigration you can submit as an evidence and also the third one is utilities bills if you have one like uh, electricity water water bills and other kind of utilities bills so if you have one showing your name and your partner's name in the utilities bill so that's better and then the next one is uh, if you have online uh, delivery uh, shopping receipts or food delivery receipts showing your apartment's address and your name in the receipt and your partner's name in the receipt so that's also very important because you it shows that you're living in the same house same address so the immigration will believe that you've been living in that house and address so collect as much as you can for these online delivery shopping receipts take a screenshots and compile it in one pdf file so uh yeah that's really one thing that's a very important thing and 
what else um you can also uh submit a whatsapp conversation about uh if you're having a talk about the household chores like your you and your partner is doing this um cleaning the dishes doing the laundry who's in charge with the cooking the cleaning and so on and so forth so you can take a screenshot of that conversation and compile it in one pdf file and you can submit that as an evidence and also photos together in the same house and apartment and maybe if you can take a photo of your partner doing the dishes and doing the cleaning <laughs> so i did that one also i took a photo of my partner doing the dishes cleaning the dishes and submit it and yeah that's all i think the evidence you have to submit uh to immigration for the living together part and for the next part is the evidence of your relationship if it's genuine and stable so you can submit to evidence like marriage certificate if you have if you're married so this is very a good a good evidence marriage certificate and if you don't have one it's okay so uh next one is if you've been engaged so you can submit your engagement photos uh, post in your social media facebook instagram or whatever and also you can post the whatsapp uh if you have uh if you're someone from your family is congratulating you for your engagement then you can also take a screenshots of that and compile it with together with the engagement photos so that's also one good evidence uh, that's what i also i sent that evidence also in my case <laughs> and also the next one is photos with your family and friends and next one is photos of you traveling together if you've been traveling abroad so you can uh, submit that skype and zoom calls call logs logs so you can take a screenshot of your skype if you've been skyping every day so that's before that's what i did with my partner because we've been doing a ldr relationship for a year so i took a screenshot of all the skype call logs and compile it in one pdf and submit it to immigration and also the next one is whatsapp or Facebook Messenger conversation since the start of your relationship and the next is social media post in Facebook or Instagram if you're posting you know about your relationship in social media that's also a good evidence that your um, relationship is genuine and also birthday gifts letters sent to each other that's also one thing and then also flight bookings hotel bookings boarding passes if you've traveled abroad together and then also yeah you have to submit a cover letter explaining your relationship how you met how you started and then timeline of your relationship so you know what's the timeline of your relationship and yeah i think that's it for the evidence if you have other evidence of your relationship you can also include that so that's what i submitted anyway all those uh, uh evidence that i mentioned uh, that's the one i submitted to immigration new zealand and for the financial part so if your new zealand partner will sponsor your work visa application then it's much better i think then he or she has to fill in the sponsorship form that is inz1146 and inz1025 and you have to attach supporting documents like bank and credit card statement of your supporting supporting partner then also 
maybe if you have your own personal bank saving statement you can also submit that to the immigration and yeah that's for the financial part and yeah if you can support yourself for the entire one year work visa application i mean if you can support then you no need to get a sponsorship so you just have to submit your own personal bank statement and credit card statement make sure you have enough money funds that can really support your stay for one year if you're applying for one year partnership work visa but if you can't then you have to get a sponsor which is your sponsor your partner and for the health part so you have to get a general medical certificate and chest x-ray and yeah there is like limited general uh, limited medical and there is general medical so i don't know i think i am for my case i took i took general medical certificate because i intend to stay longer in new zealand but if you want to stay only one year in new zealand you can get a limited medical certificate so for medical i paid 395 new zealand dollars and chest x-ray i paid 100 140 new zealand dollars so it's quite expensive guys and also you have to check the accredited clinic and hospitals uh, of new zealand immigration so you cannot just go to any clinic it should be accredited of new zealand immigration so you can check the immigration website for that and i'll put all all the links in the description box and what else oh uh, yeah uh so i submitted also for the your identity and character part you have to get a police certificate from your country of origin and it should be valid for six months when at the time when submitting the application and also if you spend 12 months or more to other countries then you have to submit another uh, police certificate for that country like in my case, I've been living in Dubai for 10 years, so I submitted one uh, police certificate from Dubai, and I also submitted one police certificate from the Philippines. So, yeah, that's all, guys, I think, yeah. So, yeah, just collect as much evidence and gather all the evidences before you submit the application make it very very thorough and complete and yeah i'm sure the immigration will grant your partnership for visa if you just comply all the requirements and uh yeah that's all guys i hope you get a lot of uh help i mean tips for this video i hope you like this video and if you like it just click like and yeah share it if you can <laughs> and yeah i'm hoping you will be reunited with your partner your loved ones and family soon and yet yeah, now i'm still i got the visa and i'm still searching for a job now i'm job hunting now <laughs> So good luck to me and yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoy and i hope you like this video so have a nice day everyone and see you in the next video bye bye